Composites are now more and more used in design of fans, in design of turbine blades in the aerospace industry or in the oil and gas industry for pressure vessels, for pipes, for tanks. And to simulate such sick composites, we need specific tools that we are going to review in this video. To illustrate the process, we are going to look at a pressure vessel from which we see here stresses and uh, the mesh and here the failure criteria. We start from a CAD model of the pressure vessel that we are going to simplify to extract a surface used as a mold for defining the plies of the composite structures as well as the materials. Once the materials are defined, we can define the fabrics that will be used so as to get the thicknesses of the plies. And the next step consists in defining the orientation, so the zero angle definition on the structure. Then we can start effectively defining the plies, what their angles are, what their location is, and as many plies as required in this model. When all plies are defined, we can review through section cut where the plies are and where the drop-offs are located. Now, a 3D model is created out of the plies definition and will be used for subsequent simulations. Our pressure vessel also consists of two external caps made of titanium that we are going to assemble with the composites vessel, which we see here. We see the mesh corresponding to the various plies in the composites in this section cut. And once the loads and binary conditions have been defined, we can compute the solution to look at deformations, to look at stresses within the model, on the full model, or within a section cut. At this stage, we can also review the results of within the composites to look at failure criteria and the reason for failure over each element, or we could look at a given element through the thickness and investigate the stresses or the failure criteria through the thickness of the element. A very useful step is also looking at the failure of each single ply to see where failure may occur and apply design changes to those plies to make the structure stronger.